parking, we use Ticketmaster. $15 and $5 for Ticketmaster, so $20 for parking. So we parked at the Howard Hughes parking garage. Even though the Ticketmaster said it, we were parking on site, I think because of the construction, they moved some of the parking over here. We just want to make this video to share our experience with uh, get over there. with our first time going to the Spear, well, be kind right of all the unknowns. So this is what this is what our experience was. There's just very little of the movie, and then after the movie, I review the our ex experience a little bit. So first of all, is a long line. Look at the line. We didn't expect any of this. So this is, it's good to just see what the experience is all about. So that way you can plan your experience around it. We live in Vegas. We left the house about an hour and a half early so we would get there on time, thinking that the actual show would start at 4.30. But it doesn't. The show starts at 5.30. The doors open at 4.30. So the the line just keeps getting longer and longer and longer until 4.30. 4.30, the line started to move slowly. And probably 10, 15 minutes after that, the line just went really quick. Once we got in, we had to go through security, kind of like airport security. So I had my GoPro. I knew that huh. photography was allowed with cameras. They said no zoom lenses and no selfie sticks. So I had a small GoPro and nobody said anything. I kept waiting for somebody to come up to me. But everybody was filming. Everybody was filming everything. Everybody filmed the movie. Everybody filmed. I was afraid to bring my gimbal. I thought maybe everything. they would say something about that. So the video is kind of shaky. I'm going to try to clean it up. Doors open at 4:30, but the show doesn't start till 5:30. So that's what, why there was such a big line outside. had about three or four of these avatar scanners around. The lines uh, were just too long for us to get in. There was just, there wasn't that much to see, but what there was to see was pretty interesting. So 
we just didn't have time for that. I, I was really curious what that was all about. You see a lot of uh, holograms around. They look like spinning fans in the, uh, the video because of the frame rate. But in person, they were pretty clear. They look like holograms. Thank you so much for participating. I hope There's a big picture right above me now. Immersive sound system as I am. That if I were to walk forward, turn now around, and look up, um, it was made of about 50 fans spinning. Be sure to say hello to yeah. all the auras. demonstrate the amazing speaker system found here at Sphere. The Sphere's immersive sound system represents the largest concert-grade auditory setup on the planet. Interestingly, about 99% of the speakers remain concealed from the guests. Behind me, there are 2,144 speakers. Only 1.3% of the total speakers found in the bowl equaling 167,000 speakers, 9.5 per person. Allow me to share with you a demonstration using the speakers situated behind me. Kindly navigate towards one of the four spotlights found on the ground in front of me. As the train plays, makes You need to be within a circle before you can hear the... Chinese. Indian, you gotta be in the circle. Spanish. The speaker comes exactly inside the circle. It could be a Chinese. They're Chinese. They don't hear Chinese there. Atrium, you're currently standing in, is big enough to comfortably host over 3,000 people. Like the Chinese. Step over there, it's in English. Here it's in Chinese. Go. Try. Oh. So each circle has a different language coming from these speakers. Isn't that impressive? You can genuinely perceive how those beams of sound lock into place at each spotlight. I would like to Thank you for taking a selfie with me, Chase, not like the bank. Goodbye, Chase. Enjoy the show. Hello, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? I am also great. What is your name? They call me your majesty because I'm the queen of Vegas. You are the queen of Vegas? You are famous. It is so nice to meet you, your majesty. How is it being the queen of Vegas? You must be extremely busy. But it's fun. We're on level 300.
200. We're gonna start looking at our ticket numbers now. We're at 307, is that right? 308, there's 30. 308 this way. There's a lot of self-help vending machines. You gotta go through here. For 308. Seat one through 12, what's our seat number? Huh? It's not us. Probably down here then. Find our seat first. <laughs> yeah. Three oh eight down. Down. This is three oh eight right here. She'll help you. We just finished watching the movie. The movie was pretty good. It was more about the experience, though, than, than it was about the movie. The movie really could have been about anything. Does it, there was one thing that kind of really bothered me was the uh, the vibration of the seats. Uh, the seats really vibrated a lot. Uh, it seemed like it was just one level full. So if it lightning, your sh seat would shake like crazy. And if an animal walked by, the footsteps would shake like crazy. And there's the sound was amazing. It was a little loud, but uh, that's to be expected. But the sound, to me, sound like it was the speakers were like about three foot in front of your face. It sounded like this. that's where the sound was coming from. It sounded like the speakers were sitting right in front of you. Now there were sounds off to the sides, but the sound is being beamed to you and it sounds like it's just being focused right in front of you. Um, it's, it's, it sounds different than anything I've ever heard before.
One more. There was a couple in front of us that got up probably about 15 minutes through the, the movie and got up and walked out. I think it was just too much for them. It was just too much, too loud, too too much vibration, too many, just an overload. So it's not really for everybody. The stairs were very steep. Um, the seats were pretty steep. There was a very, very narrow walkway to get to your seat. That if you had any type of fear of heights or anything or falling, I mean, it's definitely not for everybody. It's, I guess there's uh, some special seating for handicap and people that that have uh, trouble climbing stairs at the uh, at the entrance to the level. So that's something when you think about buying your ticket. And the the sections off to the left and all the way to the right. They didn't sell those tickets, it looked like. Uh, I guess they wanted to keep everybody more focused in the middle to get a better experience. Our tickets were $59. By the time we bought two tickets, and they added on all the ridiculous taxes and stuff. It was about $170, and then we paid another $20 for parking. It was definitely worth a one time to get out and see it. If I ever go back, it's going to be a movie that I want to see or a concert. But now I know the layout of the land. I know how to to pay more attention to the starting time instead of the open door time. I know the stairs, the seating. Our seating were the cheaper seats. I think there were some that were double or maybe even triple the price of ours. And we were in what, 308, the cheap seats, and had a perfect view. I would have liked to have been up just a little bit higher to get the perfect, perfect view. But off to the side a little bit like that was really, really still a good seat. I thought this was kind of bad that they were making us walk out through these uh, stairs. Kind of a kind of an unfinished part of the the spear and we kind of just got hurt it that way we didn't really realize that that this was actually the way there's probably 10 ways to exit and this was just the, happened to be where we wound up I don't think all the exits were like this I, I'm hoping there's an elevator or escalator to help some some people out I would like to have found that but overall, the experience was really good. It was just a, for us, it was just a really good learning experience to see what's here. We're going that way. And this is where we walk. This is the exit to the outside. Didn't realize it was already dark. But they're getting ready for another show or a concert. I can't, I don't, I can't remember if it's a U2 concert or a, another showing of the movie. But overall, I definitely recommend the experience. Why are you going the wrong way? Now, if you can kind of use this to Damn. to plan your trip, you know that if, if you can get in early enough, you have an hour to Keep do your avatar, to listen to the robots, to buy a drink, go huh? to the bathroom. That was our problem. We uh, we thought we'd find our seats and then go back and get a drink. But once you're in your seats. You don't want to make everybody get back up again just to go out and get a drink and then come back in again. So we just stayed there without, it, without getting our drinks. But thanks for watching. And like, share, subscribe, you all that stuff. For a little bit? Or you we, don't? We have, 
two casinos getting ready to open up. One is uh, Durango, yeah. and the other is the Fountain Blue. So please uh, like, share, and subscribe, and follow us along as we, uh, over the next couple months, uh, visit these brand new casinos and do a walkthrough. Oh, we can see it from our parking garage. Or maybe huh? we can see it from the roof. Yeah. Well, that roof the table. Yeah.